Johnny Kid Kavenbo Munoz Jr. is a 10 and 1 bantamweight. Born in Corona, California, fighting out of nearby Norco with sequence jujitsu. His mother and father founded that school, and the black belt has been choking dudes out since birth. The 28 year old is an SJJIF champion in 2016, and he has six subs to his name inside the cage. On August 7th in Houston, he looks for his first octagon win at UFC 265. After a 3-0 amateur record with three first-round finishes, Kid Kavenbo makes the jump to professional in 2015. He's facing 2-0 Jesus Bear Rivas. The Eloy Arizona product is a small bantamweight weighing in at 130 pounds, standing at just 5'4". Early first front kick is caught by Munoz, drops levels with a quickness, and downs him settling into half guard. Less than a minute later with the arm trapped, Bear Rivas tries to muscle out. He tries to slam now, but Johnny's got sticky fingers. Goes belly down to extend the limb, and opponent taps out. Pure domination from the BJJ black belt, now 1-0 professionally after his second ever armbar just a minute 43 into the first. Needed was a single takedown, advanced straight to mount where he hastily found the armbar open for the snatching. Kid Kavenbo took home a unanimous decision to end 2015 with a 2-0 record. In September 2016, he's up against 2-2 Gore Manatsakanian, the 32-year-old out of Las Vegas with a very small camp team felony. First frame, both fighters catch kicks, but Munoz moves right and Gore doesn't have the leg to defend the takedown. As the first winds down, Johnny postures up, relentless ground and pound, but not quite strong enough with his strikes to get referee Mike Beltran's beard in a tangle. Second round spin kick grazes the body, then Munoz ducks the one to perfect timing for the takedown. End of the second in the fullest of mounts, raining down the punches and elbows, and Gore can't get his legs working. Mike Beltron forced to end it. Johnny Munoz extends his streak to three to start his pro line. Minutes of top control and many ground strikes buttered his opponent up for a late round two finish. Gore had absolutely nothing left in the tank after Kid Kavenbo took him out to deep waters. Very next bout, Johnny's first of two in 2017. 10 and 10, Musa Tolliver thinks he has the experience to stop the streak. The former Bellator fighter lost last time out to veteran Goichi Yamauchi at featherweight, so he's dropping 10 pounds in hopes he finds the answer at Bantam. Round one halfway done, Munoz looking double, but switches gears to the single. Musa uses his left arm deep down there to grab the leg and reverse course. Maybe not the best idea with this BJJ black belt and already he wants an arm bar. Moments later, Musa out of dodge, but only for a second. Feet on hips and a fast swivel to snatch up that limb. Extends the arm and opponent is tapping fervently. Kid Kavenbo earns his second straight stoppage, courtesy of a second armbar professionally, now up to 4 and 0. Oh. No idea what his nickname means, but one thing I know for sure, you're in major danger if you go to the ground with Johnny, cause he's throwing up submissions like a white boy throws up gang signs on TikTok. Couldn't find another fight until Munoz's penultimate bout before his UFC debut. Now it's 2019 and the 26 year old sports a record of 8 and 0. Oh. He's facing 4 and 1 Rensin on Gantugla. The Mongolian soldier started his career 4 and 0, oh, but since has stumbled on some bad luck. So he's packing on 10 pounds in search of greener pastures at bantamweight. This fight is a title bout at 135 for the king of the cage. Early first, Johnny leaves the trip behind, instead uses his body lock around the waist to slam his opponent to the ground. Now in side control, Renson turns into Munoz and he tries to take the back. Can't engage the leg hooks, but nice seat belt, strong grip to keep opponent where he wants. End of round one, another big slam, scored for Kid Kavenbo. Second frame, familiar places for Munoz, he stays consistent, third takedown. 
moments later threatening a choke but feels rinse and slipping out. Hasty transition to mount where he looks guillotined though can't finish it just yet. Late round two Renson doesn't set up his kick and Johnny takes full advantage. Start of the third, hook to straight followed by a body kick for Munoz. Now Kid Kavenbo commanding the cage, body kick takes him into the clinch, and look at this battle in tight. Johnny goes with the knees, while Renson content to rock and sock the body. Champ rounds now in the fourth, Munoz left straight to right hook, but Renson answers. What a battle. Three minutes later, deft kick catch off the spin. Johnny uses it to drive opponent into the cage, and seconds later gets set for the trip takedown. Final frame, Renson looks gassed as he cannot muster any defense on this double leg. Now Munoz mounted up late, leaving the judges with a fitting cap on this fight. Kid Kavenbo captures his first bantamweight title with King of the Cage, the promotion he's been fighting with since amateur. A 10-0 resume scored him a UFC debut in August 2020, but a stiff test in Nate Mayhem Manus gives him a first taste of defeat. He's back in the octagon almost exactly a year later, looking for vengeance and facing the Afro Samurai Jamie Simmons at UFC 265.